Hey guys, this is Charlie, and I'm going to be teaching you how to do a screen and screen effect in a Sony Vegas Pro. It's going to look like that. Okay, so let's just start our new project. Don't save the changes. Open up your file. These are just a bunch of test things I've done. I'm just going to use this last one. Okay, drag it in. You're gonna want to drag it in twice. Um, I'm just gonna delete, right click, delete the audio track. There's that lower one. So I just have the video, which is all I need or all I want. Perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna be cropping the picture and moving it over to the left. And there's a very simple way of doing this. Okay, so we're gonna go into our crop and pan. And now if you look at the position at the top left, it says width 640. All you have to do is double that because we want the camera to be twice as big as the picture. So, yeah, if you see what that does, it makes the first picture really small. Half the size, actually. And then for the x-coordinates, or the x-center, you want to double whatever you have right there, which is usually 320 and that'll put it all the way to the left of the screen and that's all you have to do for the first one the second one is a little bit different but not too much different a little simpler so again double it you'll see now we have half size picture again except we want it to move to the right this time so instead of do doubling it we're going to just put it down to zero and that'll put it all the way to the right Perfect. And I guess you could just leave it at that. It's pretty cool. But if you saw my first intro video, I did. Uh, let me just trim this down. I did a sort of coming out into the split. I don't know if you know what I mean, but it's very simple. So go back into this. And remember, I taught you about keyframes last time. Move it to, I don't know, one second maybe. Or half a second. No, one second. That's fine. Because that'll move that keyframe forward. And you know that if we change anything right now, it'll create a new keyframe. So put all your settings back to normal. Just cut it in half for that one. And with your X center, cut that in half as well. Because remember, we had to double both of those the first time. And now you can see it sort of pans or zooms out into both videos and then you're basically going to do the same thing with the second one move the keyframe create a new keyframe by changing the information make it half except remember we have to make it 320 now because we made it zero and if you look at the preview screen it makes a pretty cool effect so let's look at that. So yeah, it's a pretty easy effect to do. Thanks for watching. I'm Charlie from Twin Tet Tutorials.